Morning, GM. How are you doing? Morning, Mal. How are you doing, buddy? Uh, well, I'm all right, but I'm a bit thirsty. I'm just wondering where my cup of tea is. Really? Well, I th oh, well, apparently I am the tea boy, but yeah, I bought you a banging you brew this morning, boy. buddy. A banging brew? Is that so, be Yorkshire tea? Yeah. Oh, don't you worry. It was definitely Yorkshire. None of this PG tips or Typhoo or Tetley rubbish. Yeah, they are I'll tell you. All right, well, it looks like I'm going thirsty then. I, I think a bear might have come through and had a banging brew instead. A bear? All oh, right, there's yeah. a bear with a banging brew. Okay. Yeah, that's the one. Right. <laughs> well, welcome to the channel, everyone. Um, hope uh, you're all doing well. And Indeed. Yeah. So, we've got a bit of work to do today. Our oats are ready. Uh, but we just want to talk a little bit about uh, comments from both our videos. So we're obviously we we were wanting to run in hard economy because we thought this was going to be a challenge, but it turns out that Chainsaw and Dagwin are settling for normal. And as this is a, supposed to be a competition against them, you know it would be impossible for us to compete on hard mode. So we are going to run this in normal. Um, that's just the way it's going to have to be, I think. Yep. So maybe what we've been talking about is after this series is finished. I think we're going to do our own, not connected to anything that Chainsaw and Dagwin are doing. We're just going to do our own little similar sort of survival series and actually make it a challenge. So, that's good. Look out for that at some point. I mean, I, we still don't know how long this is going to run for or actually what we have to do to win. <laughs> we don't really know what the end of this is, so uh, if anyone's got any ideas, you know, please let us know. Yeah, we'll just have to see there, won't we, Matt? But yeah, I mean, I think, like Matt was saying, I think we need to make it a competition, so we are also going to be fixing the time for us at five times. I know Dagwin keeps changing it between five and six times and seven and ten and whatever he wants to do this week, but we're going to keep ours fixed at five, so I think that's fair, yeah. um, because we know he keeps changing it. And yeah, I think we'll just have to see how it goes, because like you say, we didn't want to run it on medium, but... So, sorry, we want to run on hard, not medium, but I think it makes it fair. And we will look at some in yeah. the future, can't we? So, something that someone said in my comments was, why don't we see if we can take some of the oats from these little bundles that are part of the map? And there's some in quite a few places, including near this sorghum. Now, in here, there's like three or four crops. So, I think yeah. when Malk, and it is Malk this time, going to spend a load of money. I'm buying a new combine oh. for us because I spent a load of money in episode two, I think it was maybe. I think it was. So I think it's your turn this time to buy the combine, spend a load of money, and then probably get yep. do a bit of a run down here to see if you can grab these extra bits of oats to go with our other field. So that makes sense. Yeah. So we'll I will uh, let you choose the combine. I'm going to bring my tractor over and uh, right. do a little bit of loading. You start up. loading those up, and I'll go and get us a combine and. Oof. What are you going to pick? What are you going to pick? Well, I think it's going to be the Bison. Ooh, very nice. Oh, so in here, yep. Yeah, the Bison Wreckford. Which one's that, then? Let's have a quick look. It's oh, the record. The very... Is it the, the 31,000? Is that what it's called? The record, did I see? Oh, yeah. Record. Not right. I don't know where I got. I think I'm thinking of Binford. I've got Tim the Tillman Taylor in my head again. Right, <laughs> so... <laughs> Right, so Brilliant. options, there's not really that much, and it doesn't seem to cost much, but I think I like the Go Faster Stripes. Uh, the Oof. cabin, there's a cabin that's got lights in it, which looks a little bit better. Covers, um, yeah, I think we'll have the covers off, and then we can see a little bit of stuff moving. Rubber mat is, well, there's no carpet, it's either yes or no to that, so we'll have the rubber, we'll keep the pipe cover on. You need a rubber rubber mat for your feet. Yeah, You're old getting feet. old now, mate. Yeah, I'm getting old. I'm getting old. Oh. Yeah. yeah, so there we go. So that's £31,000. So we'll buy that. What? And the header. I know, I know. It's going to make us loads of money. It better. Uh, and the header for it, £6,500. 4.2 metres. Pretty uh, good, though, for a start in combine. 4.2 yeah. metre. That's all right, isn't it? Yeah, it's not bad. That's the problem is we need bigger fields next. 
Yeah, I'm just looking at options on the... I don't like these candy stripes, so I think we'll go for something like, like that. Uh, crop dividers. Oh, should we have two crop dividers? Yeah, let's have two. Something else Is to get stuck money, on. Though? No, it's free. No, I haven't cost us any more. They're all free upgrades. Do you speak nicely to the salesman? Right. Yeah. Right, so I'm going to go and get to the store and bring this thing back. I don't think it's going to be fast. I'll get cracked on getting these logs in, and I shall see you when you get back, sir. Right, Malk, we've got a clear path for you, sir. I've got a few logs cleared. Are you getting That's on with great. the old combine? Are we? Are you nearly yeah. close? Oh, it's just, oh, I'm getting there. Spot the it's red. not exactly fast. Oh, let's have a look. Got my winky pots on, because I'm look. a bit of a hazard on this road. You got winky pots, sir? Two How many you got? Oh, look at them. I just spotted that as I got out of the tractor. Look at that. Lovely job. Gorgeous. Ooh. I love this tractor. She's a bit loud. Combine. Yeah. <laughs> The volume Monkey. has been turned right down on this one. Right, it's not bad, so though. do you want me to see? Yeah, it's uh, it looks all right. It'll do for our first combine. Yeah, and it's got a cab at least. Yeah. So let's give it right. a go at see what happens when I harvest these crops. Sounds good. Um, so we're picking up some sorghum and some oats and some sorghum and some oats. <laughs> uh, right, so the problem is it will whatever you've got in your tank, when it picks up the next crop, it gets rid of it Oh That's not so, what we want No, so I'm thinking what we might do is just nip around the side of this sorghum field and clear away all the oats so that when we come to harvest it next month we don't risk losing our crop so let me just quickly do that and then I'll get stuck into the oat field and get us some real money going. You'll have to let us know you're getting on with the old combine on these first bits, aren't you? Let's have a look. Yeah. How's it seemed so far? Any good? Yeah, um, it seems to be doing all right. I think I need to enable the swath for the... Uh, Scroll though. That's all gone a bit wrong on my trailer. Uh, no, be right, I think. Yeah, it's okay. Not the best stacking going on today on this one. Do you want to enable the straw swath, guys? Well, I think we're going to use a um, forage wagon, aren't we? Yeah, we might as well give that a go. It's it's a cheaper alternative to uh, a baler at the moment. So, yeah, we've got some straw enabled, so that's pretty that's, good. That's good then, buddy. So well as done. long as I can collect all these oats from the side of the sorghum, then we should be good for... We should have a bit more money as well, shouldn't we, when it comes to actually um, selling yeah. some bits. Because I know straw's not going to get us a lot, but... It's going to help us in the long run, and also it is going to help us when we come to buying the next plot of land, actually, isn't it? Exactly. Because we could potentially do what we haven't done on these, and maybe cut the grass, and also um, either get a baler or a, maybe even a cheap silage pit, and create, create a bit of silage. I think that would be a, a good way. So it's pointless. Um, I don't think you'd get any benefit from... With precision farming from having uh, grass when you chop it all down uh, when you cultivate the field sorry no I think it's it's more likely that we want to be you know, taking it off the field even though it's matte grass I think it'll be better yeah so um, are you getting a decent so I've got 62 of... well I've got 62 litres so far of oats just from scrap the field yeah Right, so I think the sorghum field is clear around that edge. There might just be some down this little centre section. So. But we can deal with those later. But I will just get into the uh, the main bit of oat field there and I'll jump into a time lapse. 
That was some skillful driving, that Malk. You like that? Yeah, it was impressive. I had my camera right up above me then when you did that. I was like, I'm going to wait here and see how he gets on. So, well done, sir. Well done. Right. I'm going to uh, let you crack on and I'll get cracked on. So, I'm going to take mine to a time lapse and I'll look forward to seeing everybody on the other side. I'm just making my way with a full load up to the stall, buddy. How are you getting on with the combining? Well, I've just um, I've just done a, nearly two headlands, uh, and I'm completely full. So really, you need that uh, that trailer converted so we can get it emptied. I'm literally, I'm literally struggling up this up the hill to the uh, sawmill. So I'll be a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, All right, that's no problem. So I think this is probably the worst load of logs I've ever loaded on our trailer since I started this series so not quite sure why but obviously it's not gone well but hopefully we should get some good money out of this now we're on uh, medium economy I think obviously we'll probably yeah. start to maybe match Dagwin and Chainsaw on that hopefully let's have a look well, I think we've beaten them on every log uh, trailer we've sold yet uh, oh nice that's a good grand. environmental score. Yeah. Yeah, it's going up though, isn't it? I think because we're doing more and weeding and bits right. and bobs, okay. so it does obviously change everything, doesn't it, for us? Oh, that's 17. Fantastic. That's good. Right, right that's let's great. Let's get this trailer changed. I mm -hmm. think the right bit. It is. So we're looking at what are we thinking? Nine thousand, a thousand pound. Well, so I've got we could three go twelve thousand. Actually, for fifteen hundred, that's not a bad idea. Uh, as long as it'll fit underneath the spout, because it isn't very tall. This spout. I think it will. I think we'll risk that. Okay. All right, we'll risk it. Risk it for a Swiss kit, or risk it for a biscuit. Yeah, it's no higher than my tractor. Ah, oh, well, that should be all right then. But twelve thousand means we should be able to get it all loaded into the trailer. Put it yeah, somewhere, definitely. won't we? And then leave it. Yeah. And then um, we should be able to then take it pretty much, what, next month, January, did we say? Yeah, next month should be should be highest. No. 
I think when I was doing that time lapse though, I think the logs were causing quite a lot of lag for me on the server. I don't know why, so if it is a little bit stuttery on this recording, I uh, can only apologise everyone. So, oh, I'm coming. Tractor, come on, there we go. It's found a gearbox. Good lad. It's gearbox has decided to stop being a toaster. There we go. So, are we, uh, am I going to get the honour of driving the combine? In a minute. Yeah, I was just thinking that if you um, you take over on the combine, in, um, are there any more logs to pick up down there? Or have you got them all? I don't think there's any more. I mean, what I'll do. Right, well, I mean, do you want me to swap tractors? Well, I was just thinking if you want to take over the combine, in, if I I could probably go and make a start on cutting our way into where we're going to have our farmyard. Oh, that's a good idea. Get those um, trees down. Also. We've got the uh, we've got a bit of a plan, haven't we, for the old uh, straw? Yep. So we're going to get a loading wagon to collect all that up. Instead of going for a baler, which I think is going to cost us about seventeen thousand, we might as well just get a cheaper loading wagon. And there we go. Lovely. I got plenty of room there. Potentially, when we move to our next plot of land, we'll cut all the grass and we'll either bail it up for hay or something or even just make a get a cheap silage clamp and make some silage sounds like a plan what um what's capacity on that combine you know three thousand oh, okay so not too bad neither yeah oh. beautiful super nicely done sir right i'm going to turn right, off so about there. you can head off with that um, and if you get fit there's still a few bits like this just sat around the edge that I didn't get uh, so maybe pick them up as well towards the end and then there might be some up the side of this field you could maybe get those ones as well I have a good idea sir I'm actually going to so go you enjoy yourself way. and I shall go and start chopping down some trees well, thank you very much
I'm literally just emptying now. How are you getting on? Nope. Oh. I'm just here. I've just come over the hill. Look at that. It's a little bit bigger than I was expecting. But, yeah, know, okay. We're growing. It does look quite big, but it looks it. quite old school, though. Yeah. So it looks all right. I'm going to... All right, so let's see if it's going to pick up our... Uh... Straw. Oh, straw. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Oh, look at this. It's flying up. Lovely job. I'm That's gonna got see quite if I a nice just... animation as well. Right, I'm going to see if I can nick some of these little bits of oats around here. I know it's not going to be much, but it's going to be a little bit, isn't it? Right, I'm going to get the combine unloaded into the tray, so I've pretty much got everything I can from what I can yeah. see on our land. And then we'll uh, get this loaded up. Oh, yeah, you're not doing too bad. Looks very. I think it looks alright on the back of that tractor actually, Mount. Not bad at all. Yeah. Here we go. Lovely job. Oh, that's better. Oh, I can hear myself think again. Crikey. Yeah, it is. It is a loud one. It's a very loud combo in this when it's when it's uh, got the thresher turned on, isn't it? Oof. Yeah. But she's all right. What's she like inside? Oh, oh! Look at the rubber floor. Lovely job. Cracking. It's got some nice animations in inside as well, you know. Actually. Yeah, with the gear leaves and. Yeah, it's good that I like that. That's what I'm quite surprised. I don't know who did this uh, does, mod. Actually, I can't does remember. Anything that, but... Does anything move when you turn the thresher on? Yes, there's a lever at the back, and then the pedals also change as well. Okay, that's pretty cool. So I'm going to put this over right, here. Well, I am 88% full, so I'm going to have to go and get rid of this very soon. Oh, sounds good. I'm going to park this up here, out right the way. It's not ideal, but it'll do the job, I think, won't it? So let's have a look. Oh, that's that's found a. Uh, there we go. That nicely found a tree stump, but we're all good. Very nice there, Mr. Bison. Where are we going to put the trailer for storage? We're going to put it in the trees. Do you think? Protect it from the rain. Yeah, you can do. Sounds good. Do you think you're going to have to do what? Two or three trips to get uh, this done? I'm going to have to do. Yeah, I mean, it's. I think I'm going to get it full again. That's me full now. So. I'll go and get rid of this, and then if you want, you can have a go at it, and then um, that'll be us about done for this episode, I think. Yeah, sounds good. So if you do a load, I'll do a load, and then we can always finish this off next yeah. episode, can't we? One of us can. Yeah, that sounds do, like yeah. a plan. So, right, I'm going to take this into the over here into the trees. <laughs> I think I need a front weight on this. a little bit light. Oh, oh, that, oh, that went well. Oh, that did not go well. You know the some of the uh, tree stumps that are sump breakers? Yeah? Yeah, I found one. Okay. That was painful. My poor tractor. I tell you. Absolutely shocking. Right. There we go. Alright, so somewhere down here, I think, is where we'll be selling the straw. Just as you go in here. into it, it's the bale, yeah, spoil the bale straws and bits yeah, and bobs. I've got the so. trigger. What are we going to get? What are we going to get? I don't know. Oh. I mean, it's not a fast unload. Okay. It's not. It's not incredible, but it's not bad. Yeah, that's. I've only emptied forty percent now. It's really wow. slow to unload. Okay, well that's not bad. Though. I mean, if what we were on before, fifteen. So if we make two grand out of that, we'll probably this will probably pay for itself. Yeah, and it could do. If you look at that's a good way of looking at it. That's quite impressive if it does. Really, if we that's, if we do another load and it's that much. And it pays for itself. That's that's pretty much money well spent, really, isn't it? That's negative, really, on purchase. Yeah. Can't fault that. 
That's there you go. Too um, grand. A two, just over two grand. Wow. Okay, I'm 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 actually very surprised by that. So how much did it cost us? <laughs> a four and a half. Wow. Okay, so potentially, I would say that's going to pay for itself on one field. And bear in mind, we've got another oat field to do as well, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. So I've, what I've done for you, Malk, I've brought the uh, I've brought the front weight for you, sir. All right. I think what it was the. Yeah, I think actually what it was the pickup was lowered. Oh, okay. uh, when I switched when I switched it off, it must have picked it up at the same time, or when it got full, it picked it up, and I lowered it thinking it was down, when it wasn't. So okay. I think that's what was causing my steering issues. That makes sense. I'm gonna have a, oh, there you are. Yeah. You know what? That's not too big actually. That's, that's about right. I mean, if you didn't have the extension on top on the cage, yeah, that would be about right, wouldn't it? Oh, it's good that. Yeah. You might as well pick the weight up. Oh, smash into it, good lad. Beautiful, right? There we go. Let's have a go at this. Look after me, little Hurley man. I think what I might do is. Oh, you've dropped the loader off. I was thinking I might go and pick up some of those trees, bring them out to the front, just while you get the grass. You're going to need my weight, aren't you? Yeah, possibly. Uh, see, it gets on, I suppose. Uh, that is a very nice animation, isn't it? Yeah, I like it. Oh, I right. can't see it. Yeah, now. so I'll just, go and, I'll just go and bring some of these trees um, out, of the out of the back of the forest, and then we'll... Um, that should be us about done for this episode. Yeah, sounds good, buddy. I will crack on with this and we'll see everybody on the other side. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be without you. I've tried and I failed. So can we work it out? Only time will tell. Why do you, why do you keep telling me nothing? But I know why you floss, at least they say something. Still, I try to connect with you through your eyes. Your eyes. What is on your mind? I think it's time to speak. I have crossed the line, but no, not just me. I'm feeling something that goes beyond us. Us, us. Can we work it out? Only time will tell. It's gonna take a lot. Cause we've been through hell. I can't be with Right, Malk. I'm full, buddy. I'm just gonna run down to the shop. So Okay. Well, I'm just bouncing around with a log on the front of the loader. Um... I've just been and picked out some of the bigger ones that are in the way. I just thought it would be speed up the next loading job a little bit while uh, you were busy with the draw wagon. Sounds good. Well, I mean, I'm going to take this down to the bale store or the straw straw selling. I'll meet you there if you want, and we'll get this unloaded and see what we can finish. I'm on my way. See what we get. See what we can finish the episode on. I think. Right, let's just get this on here. So, I'm just going to unload the straw. Okay, it'll take a while. Oh, she's unloading. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. It's not bad animation either. It's not too bad, unloading. Pretty good. I think it's a nice little uh, forage wagon, this one, actually. It's alright, isn't it? Yeah, not bad. That's 12... Still going. Still going. Oh, I'm getting some oh, stutter now. Oh, I see a Malk. I'm here. I'll tell you what, we really do need to get some a power, a pressure washer, don't we? I did say that, yeah. It would yeah, definitely help. Bad. Oh, 13. Do you think we'll get 14? No, I think we will. Well, we might. Oh, 14. Oh, there we 14. go. Wow. I'm quite surprised. I didn't think we'd get that. I don't know how much is left in there. Oh, 600 litres. So we might... Wow. There you go. There we go. Crikey. Do you know wow, what? Wow, even more. 
I think that's paid for itself, you know. It's if it hasn't paid for itself, it's it's very close. We're a few hundred pounds off it. Oh, good choice that Matt. Well done. Thank you very much. Oh, that's excellent. Good, that. There we go. Right, well, hopefully everybody's enjoyed watching this. If you have, remember to give it a like, subscribe to both mine and Malk's channel, and we look forward to you joining us next time. Many thanks.